stay back and work and on, sure. especially you know in in, in all my uh, almost all the portfolio that has held in my life it is very difficult for me to append my my I put a pen on a paper or give an instructions or even minute a document without reading from A to Z. Mm. I read every document. When you give me a portfolio or when I'm in a position and I'm supposed to deal with any document, any time I'll put a pen on the paper mm -hmm. to write, especially when I'm minuting that document, I have to make sure that I've read the document from the first page to the last page. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I will not write on it. Okay. So looking at these things and also looking at the the diversity of people that I deal with. You couldn't have been dealing with for your almost, friend. Dealing with almost 45 different tribal heads or mm. different tribes within Asoko. Okay. You know, when I mentioned that, uh, sometimes some people will start counting the number of tribes that we have in Ghana. Yes, the number of tribes in Ghana, the number of tribes you have in Ghana is less, than, is less than 45. But we have other tribes from other countries oh, okay, okay, okay. within the, the, the sub-Saharan yeah, Africa. Mm. Who also reside in Asoko and they have their tribal leaders, like uh, uh, Sariki uh, Yoruba. Sariki yeah. Yoruba is uh, a tribal leader from mm. the for the Yoruba community mm. in, in in Ghana. Yeah. So when Asoko Rebambo meet, we call the Sariki Yoruba to come here. Okay. Sariki and other tribes that does not. Um, um, they they are not indigenous of Ghana. Of course, yeah. yeah. And okay. Yeah, as a, as a matter of fact. You have to have time for everybody who also visits your you, should, you should also have time for your friends. It's very important. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. But uh, that is why today uh, I have decided to okay. dedicate today. Were to you were you disappointed when you couldn't get the KMA position? Because I recall uh, we, we were having consistent conversation yeah. before that announcement was made. When it came out that you had lost or you, you someone rather was preferred were you disappointed interested i think there are some words that i would not accept because i didn't go for any contest there so but you i went for vetting i did not so you, you let, expressed me, let, me, let me tell you the secret today mm -hmm. i never ever intended to even put in an application for the kma job uh, no i did not i see I did not. I thought you did. No, no, not at all. I never, ever intended. It wasn't part of my plans after losing the primaries. At so how, how then were you the in the The fact of the matter is that I was called by by the powers that be. In the regional or national? In the, in the, at, the, at, the, at the presidency. Okay. That I'm being uh, taken, I'm, yes, I'm being taken to KMA. I've been penciled down for KMA. Mm. And as a, as a part of the process, there are other things that I'm supposed to fulfill. Like um, the party has agreed at the National Executive Council meeting that all those who want to, who has been given appointment need to be scrutinized. Mm. They need to be uh, scrutinized by the party. The party has put a committee together and okay. the committee is going to vet those people in order that when the, when the person's name is mentioned, mm -hmm. there won't be any encumbrances um, um, mm. around the person's name. So the party was doing the screening thing and also vetting other people who are also contesting or who are also um, lobbying for such a position. So it is the party process that I was asked to follow. Mm -hmm. If it had been alone, like a, like a normal contest that everybody mm -hmm. can go and pick mm -hmm. and form a contest, you wouldn't that, that have. I wouldn't have even ventured. I mm -hmm. wouldn't have ventured. It wasn't part of my plans. So when the leader called me and told me that, look, I've done a lot of research in Kumasi, and I've asked, I've done a lot of consultations as well. And any time that I go in to scan or to fight, fish for somebody to to be given that note to be a mayor your of name Kumasi, pops up. your name pops out, and everybody they say it have their idea, everybody have their perception. Let me put mm. it in the words that when you are given the note, you'll be able to at least do something to transform Kumasi for the government. So, and, they, and they even asked me to go and think about it. Hey. I was asked to go and think about it, whether, I was whether asked, you accept or reject. accept it. And I told them point blank that I'm not going to go back and come because you are 
<laughs> the leader of the place, and you said you have done a lot of research. You have a people who can do a lot of research and consultation for you. Uh -huh. So if you are you are, if you are telling me that uh -huh. you have done the consultation, you have done your research, and almost and all the indicators say mm. Kennedy can come, can will be the best person who can fit mm. the seats of. Can I, I mean for it. Why would I go and think <laughs> about it? So, uh -huh. uh, from what you are saying, I've accepted it. And oh, he said, okay. "Look, I'm going to mention you. I'm going to announce your name." no problem so i was waiting for my name to be announced but there was a process that i was supposed to go through because the party said a top hierarchy decided that this is how we are supposed to treat everybody mm. who want to who is aspiring to to, to head all the mmds honorable who called you um but the conversations will tell you the person called me okay i'm having a fair <laughs> the conversation tell the person called so, me. so then you should be disappointed when i wasn't disappointed eventually... because that wasn't some place that i wanted to be I was called that this is where you're going to go. To and work, you were to convinced that you would do a good job. And the yes, people, so that is why according I, to the person, said, uh -huh. you are the man for the that job. That is why I'm saying that I was never disappointed because it wasn't part of my plan. So did you call the leader and say, but you told me. No, this, no, no. Uh, why, should I, why should I go and question did, him? Did he call him back? Uh, did why, he, did, why did I even go and do that? You know, my, uh, my nomination or my appointment or my announcement at Sokori uh, Bampong for I also. Nobody consulted me. Nobody uh, even called me. Nobody even called me that Kennedy. Because was I go a day after that, and when I called you, you said, ah, "Are you?" Uh, 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 you were a bit because surprised. I didn't have any idea that uh, nobody even even gave me, give me a heads up that Kennedy can come. Uh, maybe we want to take you to this place. Whatever. Nobody consulted me. Nothing was said. All what I I heard that announcement on radio and TV like the way you heard it. Hey, when nobody I, uh, called you. Nobody. As of now, is I that how them, it's done? I asked for the reason, huh? Is that how it's done? I don't know. You, you are a I have, been, I have not been member. In the, I have not been in the appointing appointing position okay. before, so I will never know whether that, that is how that's it's a, done or that's not. A process. Yes. yes, I haven't been in that position. But before. when you were appointed to Asquare Mampo, it didn't it wasn't an easy because the people were like, ah, Square uh, uh, yeah. uh, we need <laughs> you understand. Yeah. So that, you, that, you that also, makes my case a very special. You had you had your own challenges. Sorry? How did you stabilize the the whole situation? Yeah, because person, when you were even people demonstrated, if I recall, of course, people were like, "No, Kenneth Ganga is not for because he's not an indigenous. He's we don't know him. Where is, you understand? So how 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 were your first? Let me say your 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 initial period in the office. How was it like? Mm -hmm. So the initial period of what? When after you were appointed at uh, uh, of to course it wasn't an easy tax. No, if anybody sits here, say, uh, if I sit here and tell you that the thing was an easy tax, mm. uh, it wasn't an easy tax because uh, it's for instance you haven't prepared, you haven't psyched yourself, you didn't know that nobody has talked to you. You know, if mm. they have even informed me earlier well, that mm. Kennedy, we want to send you to our Sokore Bank, but quickly I would have sent some scouts to go there, <laughs> or some some rigs mm. to go there to go and do some grounds work and other things for me. But unfortunately, in my case, I was not informed. All that I heard was on radio that Kennedy Ganka was going to Sokore Mampo. So it came out of the blue moon. <laughs> and um, it, it wasn't so simple like that. Mm. But as, as strategic as some of us are, and as um, the experience we have in politics and management of people, we combine the academic uh, experience, <laughs> we, co we combine common sense and tradition, and at the end of the day, we're able to say through to get the hundred percent endorsement from the hmm. assembly members of Asako and Paul. So it is it's not a, it's not an easy thing at all. It wasn't an easy thing at all. You, your 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 election as the parliamentary candidate for Inshia, so was a big deal. Not only in Kumasi, not only in the Ashanti region, but across the country, because you more or less uprooted uh, a stalwart, so to speak, at the yeah. time. Now after first term. You also lost. Mm. Why are you seeking a comeback? What at all do you want to do now that well, you were not able to do at the time? Well, actually, actually, hey, this is a question that I, that has come across. I've come across almost every interview that I, mm. I grant in almost all the radio stations in um, in the country. Uh, people don't understand why I want to seek re-election. I want to go. Sorry, I know I want to go mm. back to Ishia, so mm. to be to, uh, to to get the note to be the parliamentary candidate and also go go ahead to become the member mm. of parliament. parliament. 
hopefully and leave mm. the uh, the municipal con- you know normally I mean because you are municipal <laughs> and constituency yes. together for, I want uh, uh, this, this morning to forgive me because, a lot of uh, because I'm a municipal chief yes. executive I'll be using that word a lot <laughs> so when uh, it comes to yeah. uh, interview like this where I have to use constituency, constituency. I'm sure they will uh, understand I, I I I just use those words interchangeably mm. so the listeners should forgive mm. uh, forgive me so in most of the interviews that I've, I've granted to the media houses across the country, this question pop up most of the time. And sometimes um, uh, the, the simple answer is that there was unfinished, there are some unfinished businesses in Shiasu Council that I have to go, go back and to go and complete those, those business, uh, those projects, and also see how best I can re strategize and also reposition the Shiasu constituency at where it's supposed to be on the um the management of this uh mm. of the country those unfinished businesses what are they well um there were some projects that i initiated or there was some there was some pro- project that i was able to lobby to break to initial constituency when i was a member of parliament like what like the um, the sokobine road for instance mm. you know the whole thing started at my time when I was a, a member of parliament, the, where, where we got the funding from, the whereabout of the contractor, um, how the whole thing was packaged, the measurement, the stakeholders' engagement, and everything. When I say everything about the road, mm-hmm. you were heavily uh, involved. It was something that I was deeply involved. And besides that, too during the relocation and also some of the process that, that went on even the the preparation of the quantities let me put it that way mm-hmm. i don't want to give so much details about mm-hmm. it but i can say that um, the, the long and short of the story is that i was able to lobby for that project to come when i left office as a member of parliament the project came to a standstill Mm-hmm. It came to a standstill. As I'm talking to you now, the kind of work that I did, or the, or the, the work the contractor did on the road, uh, when I was a member of parliament, the moment I left, uh, we haven't seen any other, imp- other, other, the continuation of the project. We haven't seen any improvement on the road. The road network in Sokobai, as I'm telling you, is very poor and is, is getting worse. The rest of I visited the, 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 the place. I visited that, seat, that town. And you can see that uh, the way the dust is it is destroyed almost everything in the in, in, in the town. I started a church compound at um, Dakujum. Uh, when I was leaving office, I even paid for the completion of that project, even procure for some beds for the op- uh, for the OPD and also for uh, the. Uh, uh, del- uh, for the uh, for the delivery what all those things that I did when I was a member of parliament the moment I left office I haven't seen the continuation of that project at the Eba Town Road for instance we were able to construct all the drains within the at the Eba Old Town it was left with just the bitumen you, just uh, the bitumen aspect of it when I left office as a member of parliament, where I left that, that I, the project, the thing is still at where it is. The same thing happened at Sapatasi, Old Town Roads. After being able to construct the Old Town Road from the junction to the cemetery, the one that links uh, ICS mm-hmm. and Parma Junction, that one too, after the construction, of the dream during my time the whole thing too has come to a standstill and i can talk about a lot even the dualization of the inner ring road then she also paid by a part of the dualization that has been left out apart from the she also part that is from a square interchange to sofola interchange that is a single lane they all at the other part of the inner ring road are a, a dual, dual carriage but the Jesu part, part is, a, is a single lane. During my time, the whole process started. Bridges were, they, begin, they began to construct some bridges and other things. But at the end of the day, 
when I left office, nobody knew what happened to the dualization of the Jesu bit of the inner ring road. That one, even to even the way party people <laughs> are being treated, the kind of treatment and the kind of relationship that exists between myself and the party people when I was a member of parliament. It is something that um, I can say without fear or favor that those, those things are not there anymore. So um, looking at uh, where I left the constituency mm. and assessing it now, seeing the deterioration, deteriorating a part of it now, I, of the constituency now, I think it is uh, very important that I go back to the constituency. Now, the same delegates you'll be campaigning uh, to the ones who voted against you um, in the last election, I, I mean the last primaries. Um, what makes you think that this time around they will, they will consider you? Have they told you anything? Have you had conversation with them? And, because I want to believe even before you decide to contest, you must have gotten some, because just like you said, you are a politician that likes to gather information before you take decision mm -hmm. in your interaction with them what did they tell you that gave you the confidence that let me try this well, thing again? i don't i hope you know the difference between um the mp and my good self during the 2020 uh, it was it was quite um, a slim margin it was yes. a very slim mm -hmm. margin i mm -hmm. think the difference was 17 votes yes yeah, 17 we'll and move. we had 17 spoiled ballots in the oh, elections okay. as well and some people too were prevented from voting because they were not there. They even came in with a proxy voting. But during the elections, they were prevented from using the proxy notes mm. to vote during the 2020 election that was held in June 2020. I think June 2010 or so, mm -hmm. it was June 2010. And besides that too, at that time, the, my predecessor was not contesting again in 2020. The person that was coming gave them a lot of assurance and promises. And um, if you if you recall very well, um, the, the candidate at that time who beat me was a chief executive of one of the micro uh, one of the Maslow. financial mm -hmm. institutions in Ghana. So uh, at that time, he was very liquid, and mm. he had a lot of. Um, resources uh, to do to, to execute this campaign at that time and look if you look going back uh, to that time on that is September I uh, June June 2020, 2020. Yeah. a lot of assurance and promises was was given to some what? people to the delegates yes, to some of the delegates mm. and I'm just trying to be very careful about the way I come out with some of the information because some of the information are um, part of the strategy that we are going to use in the 20 on, in this 2024 uh, primaries so most of them were deceived at that time the promise that was given to those people now were not fulfilled and now They've been able to assess the four-year term of Kennedy Kankam. And also be now they have also experienced the leadership of the current MP. So now they have the choice to compare and contrast. They can now assess the outputs of all the candidates that are contesting now. And I'm, I can tell mm, you mm -hmm. that if you compare the records of Kennedy can come as a member of parliament to the records of the current MP. Mm -hmm. You see that a lot of things that I did during my time as a member of parliament, we cannot see or we cannot talk about it at this time. I see. Now, talking about his records, there are those who believe that, well, at least when you were the member of parliament, in parliament, you didn't 
So, for instance, you didn't get any ministerial appointment. Now, the current member of parliament is a deputy minister. Mm. So, there are those who say, oh, it is better to have someone who is likely to be appointed as deputy minister, given the constituency that kind of, I mean, uh, mileage out there. Um, don't you think that could be a reason people will say, okay, I voted for Kennedy Kankam. He was just a normal member of parliament. And there are those who even criticize you that they were not seeing you in parliament. They were not even speaking. They didn't hear you uh, um, quite frequently speaking on the floor of parliament. And that this member of parliament, deputy minister, doctor, he's sometimes he's engaged in economics, all of those things. So they will say, oh, this, 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 he has gravitas more than you. Don't you think so? Let me say something. During my time as a member of parliament, MPP was, was having 169 members of parliament. That is about 37 more parliamentarians compared to what you have today. So the president has a lot of members of parliament to select from to be his ministers and deputy ministers when I was a member of parliament. So having 169 members of parliament, you had, you hardly get some people, mm. some people will hardly get a chance to be appointed by the As ministers. Mm. As ministers. Mm. But you have a limited number of members of parliament like the one that we have now, about 137 members of parliament. Mm -hmm. You know, in this case, um, looking at the constitution of the country, where most of the ministers are supposed to come from parliament, if you look at the, the, the number of people or the kind of people that are in parliament at the moment, one can say that the president was having a very limited members of parliament to select his, member, his ministers, ministers and deputy from. ministers from. Mm. And besides that, everybody has his own talent or her own talent. Everybody has his own talent Abilities or his so ability. Mm. And everybody has his or her area of specialization. Mm -hmm. When I was in parliament, due to my educational background as, a, as an accountant, I was a member of the Public Accounts Committee. Oh, okay. And you know, the Public Accounts Committee, you deal with a lot of documents, mm -hmm. especially almost all the documents that come from the Auditor General's uh, office. You are supposed to go through those documents, analyze the documents, invite people who are involved or who have been cited in those, uh, 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 in those infractions to appear before the committee. Just I ask them questions and see how best you can clear, uh, you can collect that money or how best you can deal with those, that, that situation for the, on behalf of the country. So, as a member of the Public Accounts Committee, you may not have the luxury of time mm. to engage in most of the activities. Mm that are not very, very, very important or very necessary when you are in parliament. You have some members of parliament that you hardly hear them talking. You know, during our time, even at this current parliament, this current eighth parliament, we have some members that has not even um, be on the floor of parliament to, to even speak before. I quite remember when I was in Parliament, the early days, I think the first three months, you know, I made a certain statement in Parliament, yeah. and it generated a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. And just after that, a lot of adv advice came in. And as um, somebody who take advice a lot, mm. I decided to weigh those advices, advice that came to me from the almost all the, all the, all the device of, 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 of the mm. parliament. Mm -hmm. The NDC people gave me advice, the MPP people also gave me a certain advice. And after sitting down and weighing the advice, thinking through it carefully, 
I decided to be very strategic in the way I'll communicate in the floor of parliament. Okay. So most of my activities were at the public accounts committee. Mm. Every budget that was read in parliament at that time, at my time as a member of parliament, I was having a certain rule that was given to me to talk about. Just that, you know, some people are very fond of the media. Sometimes when they are even speaking, mm. they will go and maybe talk to the media at their gallery that, oh, I'm going to speak, do this, do this, do that. People do some that. Are, of course, of okay. course. Some people are arranged with the media mm. when they are going to speak in the floor of, at the floor of parliament. I see. So some that to catch that, the media. Of course. Mm. Some people are arranged. For me, you know, I hardly do that because if you speak or if you talk or if you, if you give a certain you make a certain statement in parliament and the media sees it to be something that mm. need further yes. clarification if they are not clear mm. with it they will they engage will, you, they will engage you mm. and also probe further yeah. to, to find out some of the things that you said and during my time at public accounts committee i think you you are you are a witness to most of those media engagement mm when I was talking about the, the seizure of things by the NDC, mm -hmm. the 10 percent thing, uh, the 10 percent uh, salary that was deducted during the NDC time that they were going to use it for cheap compounds yeah. and those things. You know, all these things, I brought it up mm. in Parliament, and especially at the Public Accounts Committee. So normally, it's not every politician or every member of Parliament I like to be vocal. that will be there and also try to be so much um, obsessed with the, with the media. So in my case, it is maybe it might be the, rather the opposite. So if you if you judge it by saying that this person has been in the media, he has been doing this and doing that, I, may th I will say that it might not be a very good indicator for to assessing who should be a leader. But you mentioned that when he was. But, um, mm. but the most important thing is that if you are a member of parliament, I think that the status quo that is used to measure the efficiency mm -hmm. or the delivery of every member of parliament mm -hmm. is about the number of projects or the way you have been able to transform your constituency. The projects that you'll be able to lobby or the project that you'll be able to talk to those in charge or those mm -hmm. in various positions to bring to your constituency to lessen the burden of your constituents is the most important thing. So if you go to parliaments and talk and talk and talk and at the end of the day, your constituency is a deprived constituency or your constituencies, your constituents are deprived of some basic, 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 basic amenities and some basic, basic, basic development. What is the essence of that? Okay. Now, you, you talk about the fact that your uh, opponent at the time was liquid because he was the CEO of Maslock. He's the minister for, he's the deputy minister for treat and industry. So, he is still resourceful, isn't he? <laughs> because being a chief executive of a state institution or a state enterprise uh -huh. cannot be compared to a deputy minister. Uh -huh. Of course, because deputy ministers, they don't have portfolios. And most of the portfolio, sorry, they have a portfolio, sorry. The deputy minister, most of the things that they do is uh, to be things that has been assigned to them by the, the substantive of the, mm -hmm. the substantive ministers or the, or the sector ministers mm -hmm. but as compared to ceos of state institutions you know the ceos is state institutions and authorities most of the time they are autonomous they have their own budget they discuss the budget and they take their own decisions but if you are deputizing for a ministry if the minister decides not to give you a lot of assignment it's like having a being a, a vice president of this mm -hmm. country you know, the vice president mm -hmm. or the deputy minister is not necessarily the person who will be in charge of the ministry if the substantive minister is not there. How do you know that? Yes, yes, you know yes. That Sometimes caretaker of course, ministers. Are... Of course. So it is, if we are deputy minister, you are not automatic pers uh, uh, person to replace your minister if your minister is, is not around. If the minister maybe resigns, it is not automatic that the deputy minister will be acting or be, will be the, um, the next person who will be giving instruction or will be giving command. Still talking about liquidity. said he was liquid at the time. Are you liquid now? 
It's not about liquidity now. We are not talking about projects. We are not talking so about... No, it's not about not, money. Yes, of course, because that can, the people have seen that if mm. you give them a lot of money during the elections and they take it and, and decide or vote in your favor, that moment, maybe in the next few days or in the next few months, you'll be able to enjoy those money very well. But after that, what will be the next? But for delegates, don't you think that's what they consider? That is why I'm saying that the delegates nowadays are becoming very sophisticated. Now, mm -hmm. now their eyes... It means they can take open. the money but still I'm decide to vote against them. Now, their eyes are open. Their eyes are now open. And now, the things that we are thinking that they were doing, mm. or the way we are thinking for them that that is the way they have been thinking. Mm. It's not the same as the delegates we are seeing today. The dynamics this time is very, very, very different. And I don't want a situation whereby I'll come here and just peel my strategies here for my opponents to take advantage of. Okay. I'm telling you, mm. the circumstances have changed. and the dynamics in 2020 is entirely different from the circumstances and dynamics in 2024. In 2020 elections, let, don't let us forget, during the election, the COVID, pand uh, that co that the COVID pandemic was on. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were under pressure. The whole Kumasi was shut down. Accra was shut down. People were asked to stay indoors. They were not moving out to go and to go and apply their trade, some of them to the normal businesses that were going on to have their daily bread to were seized. So, and during that season, a lot of people were in need, and a lot of people were going through some, uh, 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 and let's say something that was not that was, that was very very alien to their lifestyle at that mm. time. But that circumstances we are having in 2020 during the COVID time. It's not prevailing now. Okay. This time, uh, we have a different circumstance altogether. altogether. Now, if you're listening to me in, uh, in Shiaeso, maybe Adebaba, Daban, uh, Sokoban, and all of those areas, uh, Santazi is under in Shiaeso, right? Atasimaso, yes, Atasimaso, all of those areas. Kwadaso, uh, oh, Kwadaso, Kwadaso Estate. Kwadaso Estate, right? Kwadaso Estate, okay. Estate South Interest, mm. Patase. All of those areas. Yeah, of uh, I want you to be part of the conversation. So for the time being, you can ask me questions or you can ask our guest questions, not me, <laughs> on WhatsApp, 0548-501584. Later, hopefully, we'll be activating the phone line for you to also join us. If you are a delegate, most especially listening to us, it will be interesting to hear from you. You've seen the leadership of Honorable Stephen Amwa you saw the leadership of Honorable Kennedy can come. I'm sure for you guys, you are lucky because you can compare and contrast. <laughs> <laughs> what is your conclusion now? Who are you going for? Have you decided yet? Or you're waiting to do further comparisons or analysis before you decide as to who to vote for? This message I've just said, uh, uh, it, it came through from Kwame Bedia said He's sending this one from Daban News site. He said, I have just heard oh, that Kennedy can come was not in the good books of the president. And so that could be the reason why he wasn't appointed as a minister or deputy minister. Please find out from him. Uh, what was his relationship or what is his relationship with the president? People have this idea that you, you are not the president's friend. Well, um, you've not had good if, relationship. If they have that perception. I don't think it's is that, it, is that it, correct? It's not, it's not, they are not, they are not far from the right. They are not far from the right. They are not far from the right because you know, I, I, I have been a Kofo boy oh. since the 2000. I see. You know, I became a regional youth organizer when President Kofo became president of Ghana. Mm. I was elected as a regional youth organizer in the year 2020, in the year 2001. So when President Kofo was a president, I was a regional youth organizer. In the second term, from 2004 to 2008, I was still the regional youth organizer of the party. Mm. And I was seen as one of the darling boys of Kufo and Dr. Anani. Oh, yes, of the course. The man you, yes. you booted yes, out. Of I was seen as well, their darling boy. 
And when, um, at a point in time, when Anand Dankwa Kufuado wanted to be a flag bearer of the party, because Dr. Anani and the, pers uh, Dr. Anani, uh, the perception that Kufu was anti Nanadu. That they are anti Nanadu. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because I was close to President Kufu and also close to Dr. Anani, and uh, Dr. Anani, if, for instance, was in, involved in an open campaign against Nanadu's candidature. And definitely, since some of us were his boys that were working with him, whether you were we seen an external not, enemy, so you see speak. you as an enemy boy, hence you were against the candidature. Of, of the president at that time. Mm. And uh, somewhere in 2012, during the, the presidential primaries, I was criticizing the president. At the time? Order. Of course. I, I, did, I did criticize him because that time I was a regional organizer of the party. And I was having experience as a regional youth organizer for the first and the second term. I'm told you had and a problem with his campaign. Yeah, of course. Yeah, his way of, of the, campaigning. The, the style, the style of campaigning. It, it didn't resonate at, at, with at the, the people. At the point in time, he, it wasn't all that good. And I, as, as, as I organized at you that time. You spoke to him. Yeah, as, as organizer hey. at that time, yes. As, as organizer at that time, <laughs> I just, I, I think I, 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 I said my peace of mind at that time. Hey. That this thing, the way we are going about it, this thing, the, going to eat. the experience that I had during President Kufour time, mm -hmm. after when we were campaigning with President Kufour in 1998, mm -hmm. 1999, even during the 2000 elections. You know, I was one of the guys mm -hmm. who were also campaigning for, for President Kufour before he became the, the President of the Republic of okay. So when I, was, when I compared the way President Kufour, the style of President Kufour in the 2000 elections to how Nana Kufuado You felt that Nana didn't come I, down to the people? I thought there, no, not the countdown. I thought there were some gaps. Oh, okay. And at that time, I think he didn't like the way you approach the I issue. criticize the situation. Mm -hmm. He didn't like the way I criticize him. I hope the approach, let me use it. I think that is the best way. He didn't like my approach, my approach of, of dealing with the of dealing with the system. So a perception was created that Kennedy did. That Kennedy is anti -nana. not he says anti Nana. But everybody knows that I was a campaign coordinator, regional campaign coordinator. For Honorable Akamusu Ajima, for Ashanti region and Bunahaf. Oh, so okay. even in that election, I was not supporting Allah Jamate. But you were. I was a campaign coordinator for, for Honorable Akamusu Ajima. But I was very critical of Nanado's of campaign. Nanado, mm. Nanado's style of leadership. Hey, then, During the mm. 2008 elections and the 2012 elections. So that is why. An Do you think that, that, that is why some that is why from, an mm. impression was created in the minds of, of those who were surrounding mm. Anado. But between the two of us, when you between myself and the president, we have a very good rapport. We have you a very do? good relationship. Of course, he called me the legend of Ghanaian politics. When he, he sees calls me, you the legend, the legend of, of Ghanaian Ghanai. politics. That is what he, say. he calls me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what the president called me. I see. Anytime he sees me, uh -huh. he rather call me the legend of Ghanaian politics. Or the pillar of Ashanti politics, that is the, these two words. Anytime the president sees me, you 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 call me by one of these names. Mm. This one is also asking me to ask you that prior to twenty twenty election, you had a very serious security issue, uh, which affected yourself and your family. He wants me to find out if that is something that still gives you worry as you go through this politics because there are those who feel that it may be related to politics what you experienced and, uh, that one i think it, it is something that is gone maybe i you have I, you have recovered from that a long time ago a long time ago because um uh, the person might be right that it was that thing that the security issue that came to that that happened mm. in my house was related to politics that person may not far from there from right because um there was a, a, some security lapses. Mm. With, yes, we were so, let me use the word, I'm just trying to be very, since it's a security issue, mm. I just want to be very selective yes, about it. Yes, I, I, I get your point. I, mm. I say I was, we, we, we relaxed some things. Some of us. Maybe you felt your area, because yes, your area is a very. Because we relaxed mm. some of the security arrangements in the house. And we give, we open our doors for and people. expose our mm. areas for some, some for one way or the other, for some reason. Because even when during the, when I was a member of parliament, I was not closing my main gate. 
to anybody because I wanted to be so accessible to I the see. people. The place was open for anybody to pop in and go out and do all these things. But um, we, I thought it was a way of opening your doors for people to assess you. So when that thing happened, we decided to tighten all the security. And now everything, I think everything is, is, is intact now. Okay, before I pick a few calls, this one says that, ask the Honorable for me. W was it under his tenure that the Santasi stretch to Asokwa was uh, built? Has he seen the current state of the road? Is he concerned about it? He's asking of the, the, the Santa uh, No, 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 no. That road was that was was constructed by Limes Bao in 1992 or so. Uh, it's an old road. Yeah, it's but now it's, road. it's terrible. Though. Yeah, but um, as I said, it is part of the dualization oh, okay. of the inner ring road mm. of uh, Kumase. And there's the dualization of the inner ring road. Almost all the other constituencies that are located along the inner ring road of Kumase has been dualized, except the ingenious portion. That mm -hmm. is from Asqua Interchange, Sofala Interchange. But apart from that, if I say the ring road, maybe I have to just mention the the, cut, the main points, the okay. cardinal points of the ring road for people mm -hmm. to know the roads that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go from Sofala Interchange, then it straight to Santas Runabout, from Santas Runabout to Aonju Runabout, Aonju Runabout to Aonju Asqua Interchange, mm -hmm. from Asqua Interchange to Angonaga Junction, yes. from Angonaga Junction new road. to mm -hmm. Airport Runabout, yeah. Airport Runabout to Crowfoam. Okay. To, Sant, to Swam Runabout, okay. to Abrepo Junction, then back to Sofola. Oh, okay. so that is the it inner goes, ring road. Mm. That is the inner ring road of okay. the Kumasi, of Kumasi. So, if you look at the points that I mentioned, the constituencies that I've mentioned, from the Asqua Interchange to Anguranga Junction, that is the Asqua constituency bit of it. It has been dualized. From Anguranga Junction to let's say where the custom office is. Yes, on the yes. Abu Abu, Abu, Abu the custom mm. warehouses. That on your is right. A, when you are that is a foric room part of it oh, okay. that has been uh, dualized. Mm -hmm. From that customs where bonded warehouse to airport runabout, that is the Asawase part of it. Yes. It has been dualized. Mm -hmm. From airport runabout way to Crow room, for instance, that mm -hmm. would be the the Omenshian yeah, of the of that one has been dual, uh, that one has been yeah, taken to off. Swami. From there to Swami, in the middle we have Menshian South and Swami. Mm -hmm. From Swami about to Abrepo Junction mm -hmm. to Sofu Line, you know, let's say it's maybe a uh, Sintress Hospital, that one is a Bantama bit of it. Then from Sintress Hospital to Sofu Line, like Mango Down, that is the Quadaso and some portion of Asia, so part of it. But from so so, I, so full line interchange where the where Mango Down is to a hundred runabout, it's a single lane. And that one that, that all that stretch lies within the Asia constituency. Mm. That is why that is where why we started the bridge, the construction of bridge okay. at T U C Junction. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to construct yes. another bridge. Yeah, they were supposed to construct another bridge at uh Asqua, the Subin River. Oh, okay. You know, they need to do another bridge there. Uh -huh. And also, there's another river there. That one too, it needs uh, another, Rehabilitation. another uh, bridge. Okay. For them to be able to dualize that portion of the, uh, of, mm. of the ring road. But um, we started, as I said, during my time, it was started. But when I left office, for one way or the other, the reason that maybe, maybe, maybe peculiar to the urban roads department or the highway or whichever department wh which is in charge the whole thing has come to a halt okay. and then that could jump stretch mm -hmm. is quite terrible i don't very, very very terrible now we can pick a few of your quotes even though we don't have a yeah. but i think maybe we can pick three calls and then if you're listening to us in the constituency you can call us and contribute to the conversation if there's any question you want to ask the former member of parliament who's aspiring to become the parliamentary candidate you can call and ask those questions or if you want to make uh, your contribution known, you can also do so. Uh, this one says that, uh, good morning, Alpha. I'm sending this message from Adia Baba. I want you to ask the Honorable Member of Parliament uh, what he will do for the security of Inshiaeso. He says that even though the place is a very developed area, 
but some portions are dealing with some security concerns. Does he have any plan uh, for that? Okay, maybe we'll deal with that later. Now, this one says that, good morning. The reason I will vote for Kennedy can come is because his demeanor, his personality reflects our constituency. Our constituency is a very calm one. We don't like noise. It seems to be a reflection of what we need. <laughs> <laughs> you see the things that makes people vote. <laughs> there are some things that you think oh, are not I, well, important. I, that will, that will convince people to vote, but that might not be the reason why people want to vote for it. They want the very. They, everybody has his own way. Everybody has the reasons why they vote for people. Some vote for money. Some vote for maybe a certain posture of a certain people. Some vote for a certain character traits. Mm. And you know, voting people delegates have. Sometimes they, 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 they have funny, 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 funny reasons of casting their votes for mm. a, a particular group of people. Mm -hmm. and some people would like to vote for some people because maybe they are loud, mm -hmm. maybe they are very flamboyant. Everybody has his own way of, 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 of voting for a particular person. But I was just looking at the results, the parliamentary results when you were the parliamentary candidate. Mm. You got 82.19%. That was in 2016. 47,743 votes. Yeah. If I compare it to your opponent now, he got 51,531, representing 81.71%. Some will say, it looks as if your popularity is almost close. Yes. <laughs> you guys are uh, unos at par because how do you, how, 81, how do you, 82, it's a bit much. If I had, you had 82, 82%. I have 82%. Yes. And he had 82. 81%. Yes. And even in presidential, mm. I was able to garner 83% for the president. And he was able to garner 80%, 3% a reduction okay. in percentage. Mm. You can check and see. Mm. The fact of the matter is that when I was contesting to go to parliament in 2016, I didn't have a president. I didn't have a regional minister. I didn't have a mayor, the mayor, the support of a mayor. Okay. I didn't have a support of even government institution because mm. MPP was in opposition. So I campaigned against all odds to garner 83% for the president and garner 82% for myself. But in the situation of 2020 elections, we were having the support from the presidency, mm -hmm. we were having the support of state institutions, mm -hmm. we were having the regional, a lot of we were having the mayor, and the resources were available. But the percentage I, they, they garnered for the president in the election reduced mm -hmm. by 3%, a whooping 3%. Even the, the parliamentary elections, yeah, it, reduced, it is reduced it, by it, one per, one percent mm. and, and some uh, some decimal mm. uh, points. So, and also look at the candidates that we contested okay, against. Then. Okay, you. I contested against the mayor the of Kumase at that time, Mr. Honorable Samosapo. He was my opponent. Oh, okay. He, for the NDC. <laughs> yes. In and he, he contested against lawyer. Uh, Evangelist Richard Bra. Of course. So, so you think the weight? The, no, I'm not. Uh, please, someone is former I'm regional not, I'm minister. I'm not the skill to say to tell somebody's <laughs> weight. Please don't go and put me at the corner that I cannot. I cannot okay. uh, answer any questions mm. after that. The fact of the matter is that I contested the mayor of Kumasi at that time. Mm. He was having the he was having the support from the regional minister. Mm -hmm. He was having the support from the presidency. Mm -hmm. He was having the support from all the state institutions. And okay. they were, I, the resources there were a lot of resources available to the mayor at that time. So my situation was different. It's far, far, far different from the situation in 2020 where the mayor of Kumasi, the regional minister, the presidency resources were for the party was in government at that time. So if you compare and contrast, you can see that. Some people did a yeoman's job. This one says, my name is Gifty. Please ask honorable for me. Uh, that from Ahuju runabout to Santasi runabout, it's very dark, especially at night. The street lights on that street are not working. <laughs> Leaving the street very dark and very dangerous at night. If he wins, will he do something about it? Definitely. Definitely. You know, I, I, have, I have a lot. I have a lot of things. Mm. that I would want to do for in Shiasu constituency mm -hmm. when the delegates give me the mandate. You know, in Shiasu, as we are sitting here, we don't have a TVET institution within the constituency. Mm. It's one of the things that I'm going to do. And when we're able to produce or we are able to train these children, 
they, if they go through the training, the TV training, some of them may come but out. But you were building some Kufo. That is a J. Kufo Senior High School. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one is, I think it's, oh, okay, it's okay. fully operational now. Oh, okay, okay. The population there is almost 2,000 and over. The last time I crossed mm. it from the headmaster, you know, it was a secondary school that I started from the scratch. I was able to complete it before I left office. And we were able to lobby for the whole thing to start as a boarding school from day one. Which was some one way or the other against even the principles of the Ghana Education Service. It's okay, the piece because, don't you know, be, because of time, speak to the delegate directly. Well, um, Why should they? And even your election, Krano, we are not too sure. It is in limbo. Yes, of course. Um, uh, I think um, <laughs> it is very complicated. I think but it has, you, it has you, you send the matter to court? No way. Why can I send a party to court? I'm not, the, I'm not a fan of court. Who, who did that? You know, I'm, a fan, I'm not a fan of court. Uh, one gentleman, I think one of the special aides of the MP now, oh, okay. the sitting MP, send the matter to court. It's not, a, it's not Kennedy. So speak to the delegate. If or what if I'm, the vote, what, what I'm, mm. what I'm, what I'm, I would rather plead with them. I won't okay. speak to them. Okay. I'm pleading with the delegates of Inshia so that uh -huh. we started a very good job from 2017, 7 mm -hmm. July, 7 January, 2020, uh, 2017. And we were, I think the whole thing was abrogated on the 7 July, 2021. That mm -hmm. was the time that I was a member of parliament. We started a very good job. We started a lot of developmental works within the Inshiasu constituency. The moment my term came to an end on the 7th of January, 2021, Almost all the development project that we started came to a halt. So technically, the constituency came to a standstill. Now the opportunity has come again. A new dawn has come. Now, on the a date that will be announced mm, later by announced. the party, mm -hmm. the opportunity has come again. At first, they have not tried and tested anybody apart from Kennedy Kankam because my predecessor was not contesting again. Okay. So they didn't have any records to compare. But this time, in God's own wisdom, he gave me a four-year term and mm. I have been able to do what, I was able to do whatever that I could mm. do for the, for the constituency. And another four-year term has also been given to the sitting MP and all his output and the delivery tool, it is there for them to mm. also look at it. So they can so they just compare, compare and contrast. Okay. So they should compare and contrast and see mm -hmm. who will be the best person to, to bring the, the party. development that they are expecting mm. to ensure so constituency. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kennedy Kankam. Uh, Honorable Kennedy Kankam. Oh, I nearly forgot the honor. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, no. He's the same person. The same <laughs> thank person. you very much for coming. Yeah, uh, thank we, we thank you very much for coming thank through. You, thank um, you unfortunately, much. I've received a lot of your messages, and we couldn't, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, Honorable Kennedy Kankam's conversation is always interesting. Don't worry. Hopefully, maybe, before the vote come off, we'll, we'll, we'll get him back again. Maybe. Uh, just maybe. But uh, there, there's a question that I want you to ask this, uh, the, 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 the hope, the listeners for me. Uh -huh. They should find out who sent the party to court in, ca in the case of Inchia Soko Okay, well, I will ask them. Yeah. Because you know, the people are trying to twist it. Uh -huh. that it I saw you. some publications uh -huh. on radios and some of the t television uh -huh. that Kennedy can come has sent the new patriotic party to court. It is not you. Ah, no, 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 no. Mm. I'm, I'm a defendant. I'm the second defendant or second respondent. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You. So how can a second defendant See you be the person That's, that be who has taken the party to court? You're right. So that they should just discard it. Mm. People are trying to uh, at least, uh, because they have seen that it's an unpopular decision that they took. Mm. They just want to put that thing to my doorstep and say that Kenneth Gankam is the person who is trying <laughs> to disturb the party. I, see. I haven't been to court in terms of party matters because I'm well first in MPP matters, when it comes in terms of MPP constitution and MPP rules and regulations and guidelines of the party, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, uh, so I, as for, I know uh, how uh, to deal with party matters okay. without resorting to the court. Because most of the rules and regulations, most of the constitutional amendment have been a member of all those things. So if I'm well versed in those things, why will I send those things for a, a, a court or to, for a judge to interpret it to me? Um, just by the way, I won't let you contribute to that. This message just came through. He said, for me, I'm an NDC person. My interest is for Sticker to win. 
you know, because Kennedy can come, is too experienced a politician. He may worry us. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, 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 so you know that these people, they, they are mafia in the West. You let's let's leave it here. Uh, let's hope that Black Stars will do something today. So still, uh, we we'll have to sign out with the Black Stars song. Yes. Stars yes. of Ghana are the best. Great. I know today they are going to score Egypt. Yeah. They are going to also score is it Mozambique. Later. Later, yeah, later the we'll next match they will score Mozambique. Yes. They will qualify for the next stage. Yes. yes. That one I'm praying for them. Great. Yeah. And the show was produced by David. My name has been Alpha. You heard from Abna Rahim. That's mm -hmm. our show. Have a very good morning. <laughs>